Ready to take your idea or business online? Planning a website can seem overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Follow these nine steps to ensure your website jives with your goals. Number one, identify your website goals. Ask yourself, what do I want my website to achieve? Selling products, showcasing your portfolio, engaging with customers. Defining your goal is the first step to a successful website. Number two, turn that broad purpose into a concrete goal. For instance, if your purpose is to showcase your products, your goal might be to increase online sales by 20%. This specificity guides your website's design and functionality. Number three, decide on what your website needs to reach that goal. If you're aiming to sell an ebook, ensure your site has a seamless purchase process. For building credibility, create a blog with authoritative content. Number four, identify your target audience. Know who you're speaking to. It's crucial for effective communication and branding. Avoid generic messaging and tailor your content to resonate with your specific audience. Number five, get to know your audience through research. Conduct interviews, send out surveys, and analyze your business data. This will help you create a detailed buyer persona guiding your website's tone and style. Number six, create that buyer persona. Include the demographic details, professional information, psychographics, and buying behaviors. This persona becomes the foundation for all of your marketing efforts. Number seven, define your unique selling proposition or USP. What sets you apart from the competition? Your USP should be the core message throughout your website, convincing visitors to choose you. Number eight, develop that USP by reflecting on how your brand uniquely benefits customers. Think beyond the obvious and delve into the real value you provide. Number nine, look to your competitors for inspiration, but don't copy. Your USP should be authentic to your brand and resonate with your target audience. Ready to go from idea to online? There you have it. 